Hey there, welcome to this tutorial on figuring out how to get the rune glitch to work. If you look at the bottom of my screen, you'll see that there's about 180,000 runes that are waiting to get spent. This amount can vary depending on how much you decide to farm, and this can be achieved within 2-5 to five minutes of doing the rune glitch. So let's find out how it's done. First you'll need to defeat Godric the Grafted as part of the campaign. Then once Lyurnia is unlocked, you'll want to head for this location in Rose Church. There you will meet the pasty-faced NPC that will give you a quest. Listen to his dialogue, what he will do is he'll give you a festering finger, which you can use to invade other players' worlds. Once you've done that three times, then you can go back to him, talk to him again, and then he will give you a cloth to soak in the maiden's blood. And the best way to do this is to go in this location, at the Church of Inhibition. If you're low level, then make sure that you rush to the Grace located in the church, as there are a lot of enemies and you will get invaded as you get there. Once you've soaked the cloth in Maiden's Blood, you can go back to the NPC, finish your quest, and you will receive the Pure Blood Knight's Medal. That will be added to your inventory, you can simply access it there and use it. It will transport you to a completely different place called Mogwin Palace, and I'm sorry if I butchered the pronunciation there. However, in here what you want to do is you want to find the first grace. So you can follow along with the video. As you'll see, I'll just be rushing with Torrent to the other side of the map. Make sure to evade all the enemies as you make your way to the grace, as they can inflict a lot of damage and they're designed to kick you off of Torrent. And once I get there and touch the grace, then I can rest there and we're ready to begin. You can take Torrent and I'll show you the usual way to get the glitch. As you can see, you can take the left upside these rocks and as you climb up and you jump onto this next rock, you will be faced with this cliff. Most of the videos I've seen, what they do is they're able to make the jump from where you are to the next side of the cliff. But no matter how many times I've tried, I've never been able to get there. I've failed miserably. However, I did find another way that I could get there. Basically, what you want to do is you want to hug the wall on the right side to the end. And as you can see, if you follow the video. I'll be going way past the first spot and I'll be going right to the end. There will be this rock formation in the middle on the left hand side and what we want to do is we want to get to the end where the tree is. Once you're here you'll see two rock formations, one on the left and one on the right. What you want to do is you want to make the first jump and you can do a double jump to the left hand side of the rock and then you want to zigzag your way across until you get to the rock on the right. Repeat this until you get to the top, as you can see in the video. And for the last jump, as you zigzag to the left and back onto the right, you'll make it onto the rock formation. Now all you have to do is you can follow the course of what I'm doing with Torrent and getting to the cliff side of where the glitch actually is. Once you've gone to this rock formation, all you want to do is you can do a double jump and start mashing the R1 button. As you keep hitting the R1 button, you see that the character will go through the map, you'll be spawned into a completely different area. From here, keep mashing R1 until you start seeing the runes popping up at the bottom of your screen. Now this may take one to two minutes of mashing R1, however the runes usually come in three bursts. The first one is the highest, and what happens is you'll receive about 150,000 runes every single time. The second burst of runes will be 10,000, and the third one will be about 2,300. Once you're done, all you can do to get out of the sequence, click the map button, and then respawn at the grace that you unlocked. All you want to do from there is just repeat the process. There are other things you can do to increase the amount of runes that you get by getting a gold pickled foul foot, and what that will do is it will increase your ability to gain runes by about 30%. If you already have the Golden Scarab, then you can use that as well. I hope this tutorial helped. Happy farming and thank you for watching.